hello 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 everyone zujin here with another art video so yeah it's been a while since i did a let's draw episode and i'm probably not going to be doing it anytime soon so i've that i stopped doing these you know simplistic drawings and then switched to trying to make like some epic jarmungus drawing but then i <laughs> I, I got tired of doing that, so I'm back to these more simplistic drawings. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> okay, so, um, yeah, so you can see this is this is like a hodgepodge of pictures. There's there's no more, like, themed drawings like I used to do, like, try to make it, like, draw, like, eight drawings of the same type of theme category in a row. Yeah, As you, you can see it's different category so you act there's actually like three fantasy there's three like um this could be like nature or urban city not urban city but like like humans modern times this kind of thing and then here's godzilla fan art yeah so let's go ahead and go straight to it okay so here's the very first one so yeah i actually drew this goblin a while back and comparing it to my previous goblins this probably looks the worst because yeah because I used to like um, I used to like have like a set structure like the the face would be like more angular more triangular and now the like the face looks more round I guess that's actually more realistic looking but you know like like it look maybe not realistic but it's more human -oid looking but no it kind of loses its like goblin charm where it should have like a triangular face looking like the green goblin from spider-man yeah and yeah i used to like draw shadows and stuff but i stopped doing that because you know <laughs> takes so much effort you know and sometimes i just want to get the drawing as done as quickly as possible and get to the next drawing i mean it definitely does look better if i put more effort to, to it but yeah hopefully you can see here's a goblin uh miner he's i want to say these are stones because they're obviously not ores, you know, they're just a bunch of rocks inside his little baskets there. And the baskets are probably not drawn correctly, but that's that's what the result is when I try to draw things as quick as possible. And I usually give him a loincloth. So this is actually different from my previous goblins for the most part. Yeah. He got a little bit more muscle and got some abs. Of course he needs them abs because he's digging rocks and transporting them all day long yo yeah and obviously there's mountains in the background because that's where he's getting all them rocks from and there's a little entrance for the uh rock mine although usually in like you know games like kings of the castles and the games i play they just directly mine it on the floor or whatever like they just dig underground they don't go inside a mountain yeah they do that in Dwarf Fortress and Rimworld though, but yeah. <laughs> anyway, so here's the next picture. Here's a medieval knight. The knight itself looks, I mean, it's mostly the helmet that looks super cool and then the rest kind of looks generic and, you know, not very detailed. I obviously put the most effort into that helmet. Looks awesome. I want to say that's a Teutonic helmet, but honestly, I have no idea. I just know that you know some knights have this kind of like helmet where you got like the visor and then like there's like there's ventilation holes in the the mask and then there's the eye slits yeah this is more like Warhammer 40k shoulder pads or Space Marines for uh yes yeah stuff like that and here's like a window uh, Obviously, there's something inside, but I was too lazy to draw it. So, I, I mean, at first it was just a knight standing there, but I decided to make some extra detail. So, I got the, the rocks over here. Yeah. This one is, like, super square and actually looks really out of place. Like, that one looks roundish and looks kind of neat. Like, actual stones. This one looks too square. Looks more like a brick, modern brick. But yeah, I gave him some gold accents. I, this is supposed to be gold. Or it could just be orange. But yeah, in my mind, it's gold. Yeah. And here's a beach. I imagine it to be like world's, where's Waldo. Here's like the, here's like the beach. Here's the ocean. And now it's going to draw like a bazillion people on the beach. Obviously, that did not happen. Because 
Well, for one thing, it would be too small for me to draw the fine details and even this is like too small. Like I can barely draw, like I can't, I don't have room for the fingers and stuff. So yeah, it looks like <laughs> these people look awful. They look kind of like Lego people with the, like just the smiley face. But you can see the smiles are like kind of crooked and stuff. Here's a guy fishing and you could just imagine the hook is inside the water and that's like the bobbing thing to prevent it from sinking I think that's how is that how fishing poles work I mean the pole should probably be like more slanted like that but I yeah the arm is off it's wrong that's supposed to be like an orange um, life jacket or life preserver jacket or something like that. fishermen usually have like orange jackets right i i hope so because that's what i drew it in that's supposed to be like a like a beige hat like wait you know fisherman's hat but you can't really tell because the sail is completely covering it but yeah and here's a shark it's just popping out of the ocean for some reason i don't know why but yeah i just i just like drawing that like having like a fish or alligator or something some kind of sea creature popping out of the wave i don't know why but yeah i guess because of free willy because like that's what happens in free willy the whale like jumps over jumps out of the ocean so i like drawing that yeah so here's two people playing volleyball here's a woman and there's a man and yeah i i made the bikini and there's no toes or um, fingers but you can obviously tell those are the hands and those are the feet and I think her arm might be super long but that's okay and yeah here's the volleyball net obviously it's super tiny I mean I was supposed to draw even more lines but I was kind of like too lazy to do that because that would mean I would you know because like I drew the, everything first then I put the color in so in order to put the beach coloring in that means I would have to like individually paint each one in you know click not paint I just have to do the bucket like one two three five so that's 15 clicks if I like if I like drew it some more that would be like I don't know not double even like I don't know it would be like 50 clicks or something I don't want to do that like if I made each one into an extra square times four 15 times four well, how much is that Just answer me <laughs> i don't know i think it's 60 i want to say 60 so that would have been 60 clicks so i was like hell no yeah and here's like a beach umbrella thing i think it's supposed to be a little bit rounder maybe maybe i could have used like an extra circle i mean not a circle like extra triangle but like a smaller triangle yeah and here's a lady on the um, under the umbrella there's a reason why everyone oh well, he's not tan but these these people three people are tan and she's not because you know she's under the umbrella it's blocking out the sun which in hindsight I probably should have, like made this area darker or something like to represent shade and here's a little kid building a sandcastle hopefully you can tell there's a shovel that's half buried into the sand and here's a bucket that's how he created the sandcastle even though the bucket is like you know like um conical and these are all like perfectly square and i don't even i don't even know how he made that gateway and he's somehow standing inside the sandcastle or behind it it's behind because i didn't feel like drawing the feet he's like happy his arms are all spread out yeah so hopefully you can tell this is supposed to be a volleyball but now it kind of like it looks like a pokeball to me <laughs> yeah Mostly because of that circle in the end, middle. But yeah, that pretty much covers it for this thing. I was gonna like draw something else like like a mermaid or something and like a guy like digging for gold um pirate treasure, buried pirate treasure, but yeah. I decide this isn't enough. And here is like it this first started out as a beach, you know, the ocean and then I was gonna have a beach, but then I decided, you know, let's draw a highway because I because like where I live there's like a highway near the beach. So yeah, that's basically why I drew this. So yeah, and hopefully you can tell the small ones are like cars and and like uh, uh, vans or whatever. Like, well, this one is shaped a little different. It's supposed to represent like a, what is it called? Four wheel drive or whatever. It's like a semi truck or something where it's like, it's just, yeah. Those like huge, really huge cars, but yeah. Because, you know, the back is a lot bigger and stuff. And then these long rectangles, they're supposed to be buses. 
and the long rectangles with the little square in the front those are supposed to be their trucks you know freight trucks and whatever like moving trucks or whatever those are cars 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 trucks this is supposed to be like a van or whatever so i did actually look it up the middle line is going to be yellow it's basically saying uh opposing traffic on the other side do not cross this line the white dotted line means it's the white means it's the same same traffic lane and then dotted means you can cross either lane yeah something like that and here's the exit i mean ideally i should have drawn like an exit sign or something but i didn't because <laughs> how do you how are you going to draw a sign from up top view because it's just going to be a line yeah i mean i guess i could have drew the line and you like at first glance you wouldn't understand what the hell the line is but now i would have explained it but yeah so here's another island kind of deal here and here's like the ocean of course you know i always draw these squiggly lines and here's three i want to say palm trees but the coconut trees and you can see that the grass for each tree is completely different oh my god it's totally inconsistent this one i drew first and i did and then i realized wow that's not very grass like and then i drew this one a little bit more grass like and then this one is the best one super grass like i or at least i think so it's like you know this is just like random lines like a bunch of triangles and this one actually looks like the grass is moving and stuff and obviously I could have redrew the, all of them but I was too lazy to do that and here's a little tent here and here's a campfire and some SOS rocks put into a SOS so this there's someone inside resting in the camp in the tent waiting to be rescued yeah it's like a little castaway scene thing and there's nothing else on the beach this is the tiny ass beach oh my god the tent is bigger than the beach so this is obviously wrong the beach should have been bigger or this whole thing should have been sand yeah <laughs> and here's godzilla i just noticed the claws are super pointy this uh, this arm look actually looks more like mecha godzilla because he has like super pointy fingers that launch missiles and stuff but whatever this is my godzilla it um it doesn't look that great I originally when I first drew it the head it was like huge and I had to erase it and draw it again yeah but everything else was the I just drew it on the first attempt I did look at the pictures obviously so it looks kind of like Godzilla but not really the head is the worst part it looks it looks just like a generic dinosaur it doesn't look like Godzilla and obviously I didn't draw any of the scales and here's supposed to be like a skyscraper but I yeah this one I did not individually click i just had one giant square rectangle and then i colored it in blue and then as a layer on top i just drew the grid on top yeah there's no way i'm gonna click through all this like 100 squares of paint yeah and then i did try to make this sky look more gradually darker as you go up i'm not even sure if that's how the sky works but yeah i just know it's different colors when you go up in the air and stuff but obviously it looks kind of weird because you can it's not very gradual so it, these two parts doesn't look that bad but the rest is like very apparent actually these two are is okay and these two are okay the blending yeah and everything else is like kind of jarring and there's like a sun over there it's supposed to be a distant background but it looks humongous but that's okay it looks bigger than godzilla's head that doesn't make any sense and here's a little street lamp yeah Here's Anguirius. I decided to move away from the city and I'm I actually like this a lot. This actually looks like him because I actually kind of like I like I like Anguirius a, little, a lot more than Godzilla. <laughs> so I put a little bit more effort into him and also yeah, his body shape looks more unique compared to other dinosaurs and stuff. So yeah. I mean, well Godzilla is upright and T-Rexes are not upright, so yeah. But yeah, I I try to make him look as much as like the Anguirus from the movies as possible and I never noticed that he's bending his knees in the pictures in the movies because you know it makes sense this is actually a person I mean I don't understand why the person didn't just like have the like a leg like the knee bent forward or something maybe that'd be too painful or something but like yeah I guess it would be, was easier to just have the knees on the floor yeah 
yeah so this is Anguirus he has spikes all over the back and the tail and then on the head and the stuff yeah I never really I mean I knew that the giant monsters are mostly people inside the suits but I never thought Anguirus would be a person in a suit because it's like four-legged it didn't really look like it but when now when I see the pictures the the knees all bent on the floor then yeah it's pretty obvious that's a person in here you know here's his leg here's his arms and there's the torso and stuff I, I'm curious how they move their heads and stuff it, I doubt it's the person inside is it like because their hands are over here how are they gonna move that like or is there like a button they mash their face in <laughs> and then it opens the mouth so I'm assuming that's like animatronics the head but like the arms and the legs that's them and the tail is probably animatronic right because how are you gonna move your the tail anyway so yeah I try to make it look like there's like a little forest in the background and then humongous mountains in the back and then there's some clouds and I decide not to do like the signature sun over there and there's just a bunch of grass here I like this a lot better than the Godzilla drawing uh, yeah and here here's someone on Instagram liked my one of my pictures and like like redraw my picture in your own style so I did so you can go ahead and go to my Instagram and see it's it's one of the latest pictures and yeah I have the tags inside and, and stuff in the description so you can see the original to compare to see if it looks like anything like it at all yeah and yeah I added the arm over here and the arm over here like I had no room to draw the other arm so I just decided to change it up and just like have it behind her body her behind her back yeah and yeah oh my god so now I'm looking at it this horn looks like pretty good I mean the both the horns look good but obviously you can see like this one has a bigger curve s curve and this one is kind of just like a u or like half of a u it just looks like a half of you. I mean, I guess they're both similar curves. It's just this one is more angled, like more curved. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, it looks the curve compared to this one looks a lot different. This is like a deeper curve, a steeper curve, or something. Like, this is just like this is like a right turn. This is like almost a U turn. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> anyway, yeah, and I try to have experiment with like like different line thicknesses line weight or whatever like some areas like the hair is like a lot thicker and stuff mostly the outside the outline and it's like obviously like the inside stuff tapered lines and stuff and like the clothes and the, like the details of the uh, of the body is a little thinner lines lips is thinner lines and you got the blush over there so yeah obviously this one I put the most effort into it you know um, tell me what you think about all these drawings which one did you like the best I was I thought I was gonna only, yeah, I thought this video was gonna be shorter, I try to make it as short as possible, but then I end up blabbing and blabbing about each drawing, so yeah. So hopefully everyone's enjoying this series, be sure to let me know down below, subscribe, comment, rate the video, as always, thank you for watching, until next time, bye bye, bye.